Ladies and gentlemen, the pleb is finally back. In today's episode, Joe Rogan is once again endorsing Pierre Polyev on his podcast and even goes as far as saying F Trudeau. As well, tonight, Melanie Jolie gets interrogated by a Canadian citizen and slaps the phone in his hand. As well, things are not looking too good for Mark Garretson right now as his chances of winning continue getting worse you won't want to miss tonight's story stick around Today's report has been brought to you by my longtime sponsor, Beaver Bitcoin. If you guys want an easy place in Canada to buy Bitcoin instantly, head over to beaverbitcoin.com forward slash pleb and sign up for an account today. And if you're not familiar with how to buy Bitcoin, well, Beaver Bitcoin has your back. You can head over to beaverbitcoin.com forward slash advisor and schedule a call with the Beaver Bitcoin team and they will walk you through your first purchase. Thank you to Beaver Bitcoin for sponsoring today's report. Welcome to your Easter report. It is good to be back. Let's just I guess, address the elephant in the room here. I was gone for six weeks. No, I did not quit YouTube. No, I didn't go to prison. I just needed some time to detach. And a lot of you guys actually got mad at me and upset that I was gone for so long. And you know what? You're completely right. I should never be gone for that long. And going forward, I'm never going to do that again. I'm never just going to walk away for six weeks because we have an important goal here at this channel. We got to get Trudeau out of office. So I am here in this studio until Trudeau is gone. I am no longer traveling. We will do that after the next election. And now it is time to get back to work. In our first story of the night, tomorrow is April Fools, April 1st. And guess what's going on in Canada? Well, we are getting ourselves another carbon tax increase. And I wanted to inform the audience that there's going to be a nationwide carbon tax protest going on all over the country and specifically in Ottawa at Parliament Hill tomorrow. And I will be there live streaming the entire event. If you guys want to meet me, you want to come say hello, I will be in Ottawa tomorrow at the carbon tax protests and I hope to see you there. All right, let's get to the feature story of the night here. Now, if you guys have been watching my channel, you guys know that Joe Rogan has endorsed Pierre Polyev to be the next Prime Minister of Canada. And on his podcast a couple of days ago, he did it again. He gave love to Pierre Polyev and even went as far as saying F Trudeau during the podcast. Watch this clip. Who's talking shit on America like that? All kinds of locals. Uh, no, no, just online. <laughs> no. Shut it off. No everybody one's knows, really doing everybody that. Everybody knows we're number one. Well, how about the, I'm going to leave if this guy wins. You're like, That's but you're my not going to leave. Yeah, but they don't ever leave. <laughs> they but never maybe leave. They well, it's great. We got maybe, Chipotle. Everything maybe except PTO. This we're time bad, they'll we're bad go to that. Canada where it's a thousand <laughs> times worse. <laughs> yeah. Maybe uh, this time. How would, you, yeah, how would you like to live in Minnesota if it was fucking gayer? <laughs> Welcome to fucking Canada. <laughs> right. Gayer and Imagine Minnesota, but not. Not cool at all. Exactly. Just gay. Yeah, no Somalians. Yeah. Unless Trudeau's on Halloween. Let's get the right wine. Bro, they might get rid of that dude. If they do, they could pull it around. Who? Trudeau. Oh. That Pierre Polivet. How do you say it? He's pretty sexy, that guy. Polivet. How did, did I say it right? No, I didn't. He's very French. It's all Man, this is the third time that Joe Rogan has given a shout out to Pierre Polyev on the podcast. I'm curious when he's actually going to just have him on the show. I think this could possibly happen. To be honest, he's dude, brilliant. We've he's, been trashing, he's smart. We've been trashing Canada because of how gay Trudeau is, but <laughs> Canada does fucking rock. Canada rules in the summer. Well, Canada is one it of the all time. Canada, Canada. Oh, you pissy in there? How you son of a bitch. <laughs> he's pissing in Bud Light cans, this dirty bitch. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Dude, yeah. Make this part of your new campaign where I piss in bottles. Here, why don't you? Yeah, yeah. try to ruin my campaign, you little nasty motherfucker. All right, use this whiskey bottle. Piss in that whiskey. Don't over. piss in that. Don't dig a cat. Get a bottle. Piss in it. Piss in the bottle. No, don't yeah. piss in the bottle that's half full. Don't, don't make it. Someone might drink it, you monster. Don't make Good it point. taste better. <laughs> <laughs> the Get a bottle off. online. Don't. Piss in it. <laughs> 
but that's, yeah, that's the, no, the line, rocks, dude. Well, that's Toronto's line. a fun town, and Vancouver's fun. Good, yeah. good crowds. That's good the, crowds, good chicks, good drugs. That's what, everything rules in if Canada. If you bring up uh, Trudeau, though, they go apeshit. Who brings up the government? Can you imagine I being everywhere in everywhere I, go, I, like, I hate crowds. Everywhere I go, if I go oh. to Canada, I'm like, fuck Trudeau. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't go to Canada. I do. I go all the time. I say, fuck Trudeau. They get fired up. The truckers hate him. The truckers hate him. Regular people hate him. Historically, Canada is a good country. Man, it's true. Right? Us regular people do hate him. The only people that like Trudeau are government employees or people working the laptop class. I've never met a working class person who wakes up every morning at 5.30 a.m. in the line for Tim Hortons who genuinely likes Trudeau. That is facts. Dude, they go hard, dude. They go they're hard. nice people. They were they a drink. They were that's, a fucking that's why D-day. they're so subject to this bullshit. Because they're trying to be nice. True. That's why they're so vulnerable. Because they're trying to be nice. Because they're genuinely nice people. True. Sorry. Like, they, 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 it's cold as fuck up there. People cooperate. They're uh-huh. nice. All right. I'm, I'm going to get fired up. Uh-oh. All right. Get fired up. Uh-oh. This is... Hold they're on. one of those... Uh-oh. They're Hold one on. of those... They're Easy, one. big fella. <laughs> no, they're not that fired up. I might be. Up. I might be dumb and wrong. But those are one of those countries that, like, the UK... Like, when they call... Like, when they go to war, which they always do... They have They to. always call on the bros. It's always Scotland... Canada, Ireland, Canada Ireland. Australia, all the dominions that are just like settler white people. <laughs> We've been making money for you all these years. When they ever <laughs> call, like, when they call on like Australia and Canada to go to war, they go to war, dude, and they Damn. go hard. Bam. They've always gone hard. Canada rules. Historically, Canada rules. Let's go. Historically. Yeah. Right now they're being gay. <laughs> I That's think Banff right. is the same as it's always Canada yeah. has a fantastic history yeah. of combat sports. Yeah. Athletes. Solid and chick wow. hockey McDonald's players. And yeah. comedians. Rory. Yeah. Norm MacDonald. Yeah. Norm. Yeah. The other guy. Uh-huh. Jim Carrey. Guy. Yeah. 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 Those donuts. But for Great donuts. Fighters, Tim Horton. Horton. Tim Horton. Tim Horton's rules. Here it goes hard. Right? Listen. There was a guy in the 1980s. <laughs> Man, I can't believe Joe Rogan said F. Trudeau on the podcast. I mean, that is absolute gold. And let me ask you guys a question here. Do you guys want to see Pierre Polyev go on the Joe Rogan experience and meet with Joe Rogan? Let me know in the comments down below. In our next story of the night, do you guys feel like the left is becoming more and more unhinged every day? Well, I do too. And this week, Melanie Jolie was interrogated by a Canadian citizen who had some questions for her, and she attempts to slap the phone right out of his hand, proving just how unhinged the left truly is. Watch this. Melanie Jolie, lift the cap on the number of Palestinian refugees. Whoa, whoa. Melanie Jolie, Melanie Jolie just puts the friggin' hand right in his phone. That is crazy we pay these people salaries this is unhinged Lift the cap on the number of palestinian refugees Lift the cap on the number of palestinian refugees recognize the state of palestine she contacted me relax she contacted me relax for the genocide of palestine she contacted relax but now my job is to be carcelé puis ils sont en train des des bonnes valeurs OK moi j'ai dit que le ce qui est important c'est que les gens qui ont pas ils sont pas ça fait tuer c'est la grosse décision OK mais c'est correct que laisse vous avez pas le droit d'avoir une marche relax en ville pendant que vous permettez la mort et décès des enfants palestiniens oui well it appears we have now reached the levels where our public officials are slapping phones or attempting to knock phones out of the hands of Canadians who have questions for them. Now, whether you agree or disagree with this whole issue in Gaza, I mean, the guy was just asking an elected official a question, and this is the response that he got. Melanie Jolie tried to literally slam the phone out of his hand. The left is eating the left, and you absolutely love to see it. In our next story of the night, and another edition here of Canada is a Woke Nightmare, our Canadian military came out with this tweet here yesterday, coming out and basically canceling the word Easter. Read this tweet here. We want to wish veterans, current members of the Canadian forces and RCMP and their families a happy March holiday season. What the hell is a March holiday season? Now, this tweet 
is obviously an attack on Christians in Canada, and it got itself absolutely ratioed here. As you can see, it has 663 likes and 4,500 replies. Quite the ratio. Now, it's quite obvious that our government despises Christians. I mean, they can't even use the word Easter on a post. What are they trying to accomplish? How is this making the world a better place? It's absolute insanity. And the thing that upsets me the most is that our government will never miss the opportunity to wish other religions a happy holiday in the actual word of their holiday. As you can see here, 20 days ago, the Canadian Indian Prime Minister is wishing everyone happy Ramadan, but now in the new Canada, you can't even say happy Easter. Absolute clown world. And after getting themselves absolutely destroyed on X yesterday, the Canadian Veteran Affairs Twitter account came out and wished everybody a happy Easter after the insane backlash that they received yesterday. Hopefully someone got fired for that absolutely insane tweet. And breaking just now, as I'm editing the video, I have to add this in here. Pierre Polyev came out and took a shot at the Armed Forces for March holiday season on Easter trolling our woke government saying happy easter he is risen well done pierre and it gets even crazier because down in the states now joe biden appears to be doing the same thing here coming out on easter day and talking about transgender day of visibility where we celebrate joy strength and absolute courage from some of the bravest people i know on Easter, what a slap in the face to Christians in North America. But when our government officials say crazy stuff like this and infuriate us, well, the internet is always quick to respond here, as now the internet has made this meme of the Easter Bunny attacking Joe Biden on his way into Air Force One watch. Easter Bunny, too. <laughs> Wow. Man, that is absolutely precious. But with this woke insanity, thankfully we have a leader here in Canada named Pierre Polyev who's not afraid to say happy Easter. And on Easter Sunday came out with this tweet here saying he is risen happy Easter. And the tweet is going absolutely viral with like 14,000 likes in a few hours here. Let's watch his message on Easter. He is risen. Today, Christians celebrate the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Through his sacrifice, he paid the ultimate price for our sins and overcame the power of death itself so that we could rejoice in his promise of everlasting life. The joy of Easter unites all Canadians. It reminds us that although we face hardship, we have the promise of a new beginning, of redemption, and of the hope of eternal life. As families come together to attend church services, paint Easter eggs, and enjoy some much needed rest, may you be refreshed and restored in the spirit of Easter season. Happy Easter. Beautiful message by Pierre Polyev. Thank you for saying happy Easter. I don't understand why it's so hard for the left to say happy Easter. They're quick to jump to every other religious holiday of any minority and say happy Ramadan, happy this, happy that. But they can't say happy Easter. They want to erase Christianity from this country. Easter's been with us since the inception of Canada. And this is what woke commies do. They just want to erase our past, cancel everything. These people are deranged. And from this channel to you, I want to say happy Easter. And thank you for spending your Easter with me watching this video. In our next story of the night, we're going to cover Mark Gerritsen, a.k.a. the tough guy, a.k.a. the guy who keeps asking people to come outside. Now, he's done this in the past, and a week ago, he did it again challenging Pierre Polyev to come out and say it to his face. Watch. 
completely false, 100 percent false. And this from a government, by the way, who has presided over a 100 percent increase in lobbying activities. I have a point of order, the Honourable Government Deputy House Leader. Thank you, Madam Speaker. The Leader of the Opposition said that everything I said was not true. I'm wondering if he would step outside where he doesn't have parliamentary okay. privilege. Ever. I'm sorry. This is a point again. of debate. He literally did it again. I don't know who this guy thinks he is. Does Mark think he's like a tough guy nightclub bouncer? It's honestly cringe. This guy is literally embarrassing himself every single day on X. And he's even doing it in the house. Anytime someone calls him a liar, he challenges them to come outside. Now, I do have some good news for you guys on the Mark Garretson front. As this guy gets on X, embarrasses himself, and embarrasses Canadians every single day, it appears that his support is plunging. Now, I have been tracking his numbers all the way back here in October 22nd, 2023. Now, in his riding of Kingston, it was a toss-up, 32% to 32%. Conservatives and Mark Garrison were tied. Now we're going to fast forward it here over to November 19th, one month later, the conservatives have appeared to be taking the lead. Look at this, 32% to 30%, right? So it's a toss up in October. In November, the conservatives take a small lead. Now let's fast forward to this year. At the start of February, February 11th, look at these numbers now, 51% to 29%, and the liberal mark has 20%. It's an absolute blowout in his riding. You love to see it. Now, it gets even crazier for Mark Garretson. We're going to fast forward things here to the end of March, March 24th. Now look at these numbers from Mark Garrison. He's now at 15% chance of winning. The NDP at 18%. The Conservatives have a 67% chance of winning. If you combine the NDP and the Liberals, that is 33%. They have a two to one lead on both the Liberals and the NDP in his riding. Now the funny thing is, is that Mark Garrison's riding has voted Liberal for the last four decades. As long as I've been alive. Yes, four decades they voted liberal, and it takes a special kind of stupid to go and blow a liberal stronghold like that, and apparently Mark Garretson is the man for the job. In our last story of the night here, as I said earlier on in the episode, tomorrow I will be in Ottawa for the carbon tax protests, and a friend of the channel, none other than Red Pill North, has put out a song called Pay Me Carbon Tax by Justin Trudeau, which is so fitting as there's going to be a nationwide carbon tax protest tomorrow all over Canada. Let's watch this absolute piece of gold. I'm Justin Trudeau, flying on my private jet. Got a plan in my pocket, gonna make you pay a fee. I say it's for the planet, but we all know the game. I just want some extra zeros added to my name. So pay me carbon tax, give me all you do. I don't care about the planet, I just want the show. Jack me cash is rising, but I'm counting my cash. I'm Justin Trudeau, making money in a flash. So Pay me carbon tax, give me all your dough. I don't care if you're struggling, but my pocket got to grow. Price of living rising, so is my cash. Don't like it, you can kiss my black ass. <laughs> I'm just in Trudeau, I travel in a Jeep, motorcade, got expensive lifestyle, gonna make you pay a fee, you think it's for the planet, if you don't pay we are done, I simply wanna beef up my retirement fund, so pay me carbon tax, your cash is my dough. I don't care about the planet, I just want the show. Price of gas is rising, but I'm counting my cash. I'm just in Trudeau, my bank account is rising fast. So pay me carbon tax, promise I'll give it back. I don't care if you're struggling, gotta grow my retirement stack. Price of living rising, so is my cash. Don't like it, you can kiss my black ass. 
banger. Pay me carbon tax. Give me all your dough. Okay, that is actually pretty catchy. Well done, Red Pill North, on another absolute banger. All right, guys, that's a wrap here for today's video. But let me ask you this question. Will you be participating in tomorrow's carbon tax protests happening all across the country? Let me know in the comments. And if you guys are in Ottawa tomorrow, come say hello to me. Come take a picture. I love talking to you guys. So please, please don't be shy. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe so more people see it. You can buy a membership to this channel. And you know what? Just tell your friends about The Pleb on YouTube. My name is The Pleb. This was your Easter, Easter Day report. And I'll see you at the next one. Peace.